CIETNCERT presents the audio book Joyful Textbook of Mathematics for Class 2 Page 113 Chapter 10 Fun at the Fair Rupal loves going to the fair she visits the local fair with her friends her mother gave her rupees 50 she spent most of it on her favorite rides Now we have an image here which depicts a fair. We can see kids enjoying different rides. We can see a security guard at the entrance checking everybody entering the fair. We also see a boy standing outside trying to buy a ticket to enter the fair. We can see kids taking a ride in a toy train, giant wheel and a merry-go-round. Talk about the things that children enjoy in fairs. Whom do they go with? What do they buy? And how much money do they spend there? Page 114. How much I spent. Now, we have three different images. The first one is of a merry-go-round. Below that, there is a picture of a 10 rupee note. This means 10 rupees spent on this. We have a second image here of a toy train. Under this We have a specimen of 20 rupee note which means blank rupees spent on this. The third image is of a giant wheel. Below that we have two coins here. The first one is of 10 rupees and the second one for 5 rupees. This means blank rupees spent on this ride. The total money spent on rides is equal to blank. blank money given by rupal's mother minus blank money spent which is equal to blank that is money left with rupal a friend of rupal has rupees 8 left out of rupees 50 she wanted to know how much money she spent let us see her way of finding it her friend is thinking rupees 8 is left with me and i have spent rupees 20 on rides which is rupees 28 then i have spent rupees 20 on snacks which is rupees 48 and i spent rupees 2 more on candies which is rupees 50 so total i have spent rupees 42 in the next image the calculation rupal's friend did has been shown rupees 8 Plus rupees twenty is equal to rupees twenty eight. Rupees twenty eight plus rupees twenty is equal to rupees forty eight. Rupees forty eight plus rupees two is equal to rupees fifty. Finally, it shows rupees forty two spent by Rupal's friend. If you had rupees three left when your father gave you rupees forty for the fare, how many rupees did you spend? Find out. page 115 let us do a how much money will be needed to buy there are three columns the first column says ride the second column says number of tickets and third column says money the first image is of a toy train and rupees 20 is shown as the ticket rate number of tickets 2 money spent blank The second image is of merry-go-round and the ticket price is shown as rupees 10. Number of tickets blank and total money spent is rupees 30. Third image is of a giant wheel. The ticket for that is rupees 15. Yeah. Number of tickets 2. Money spent rupees blank. B We saw different notes and coins used by Rupal and her friends. Let us look at the other commonly used Indian currency. We have specimens of three currency notes here. First image is of rupees hundred. Second image is of rupees two hundred, and third image is of rupees five hundred. Rupees hundred is a blue coloured note. Rupees two hundred is a yellow coloured note. and rupees 500 is a green colored note 
पेज 116. सी काउंट द नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड इज रिटन ऑन अ रुपी फाइव हंड्रेड नोट नाउ वी हैव अ स्पेसिम ऑफ अ रुपी फाइव हंड्रेड नोट द फर्स्ट इमेज शोज द फ्रंट पार्ट ऑफ द नोट एंड द सेकेंड इमेज शोज द बैक पार्ट ऑफ द नोट वन फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज इज रिटन इन वर्ड्स ब्लैंक टाइम्स टू फाइव हंड्रेड इज रिटन इन नंबर ब्लैंक टाइम्स नाउ वी हैव अ स्मॉल बनी विद अस हु आस्क द पिक्चर ऑफ विच मोन्यूमेंट इज प्रिंटेड ऑन द नोट ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज हैव यू सी इन दिस मोन्यूमेंट वी हैव एन इमेज ऑफ रेड फोर्ट हेयर Ask the children to observe other currency notes and discuss their features. Discuss with them the specifications such as the lines on the border of the currency notes and their number on each note for specially abled people. Page 117. Tejal's grandmother showed her some old coins that she had not seen before. Let us have a look at these coins also. In the images We have a twenty-five paise coin, a fifty paise coin, a ten paise coin, and a twenty paise coin. Her grandmother used to pay two coins of fifty paise for one rupee. In the image, we have a fifty paise coin and another fifty paise coin. We add the two, which is equal to one rupee coin, and we have an image of one rupee coin. we can say that 100 paise equals to 1 rupee a how many 25 paise will make 1 rupee draw the coins in the box given here make sure the total is rupee 1 or 100 paise b how many 20 paise will make rupee 1 blank page 118 pop the balloon Matru comes across a pop the balloon game. He will get three chances for rupee ten. Let us see how much money Matru wins. In the image given here, we can see at the top balloon dot. There are some balloons hanging against a board. On the left side, the prize money is given. If you hit a pink balloon, you win one rupee. If you hit a red balloon, you win two rupees. If you hit a blue balloon you win 5 rupees if you hit a yellow one you win 10 rupees and if you hit a green one you win 20 rupees we can see a small boy aiming successfully at one of the balloons a how much money will matru get if he pop the balloons now we have a table here it has two rows in the first row there are different colored balloons placed On the right side we have the prize money you win. In the first row there are two balloons red and pink. The money earned after hitting them is rupee 3. In the next row there are three balloons, two of red color and one of green color. You have to mention the prize money one in the blank. In the next row there are two blue balloons and one pink balloon. Guess how much you'll earn if you hit three of them. In the last row we again have two balloons one green color balloon and one yellow color balloon and in the blank you have to fill the prize money one page 119 b draw and color the balloons which he has to pop if he wants to get the given amount the first row is blank and the prize money is rupees 17 the second row is blank and the prize money is rupees 22 the third row is blank and the prize money is rupees 31 c which three differently colored balloons would you target to make the highest amount of money draw and color them in the space given here total amount 1 is equal to blank blank d If Matru had four chances by popping which differently colored balloons can he make the most money draw and color them in the given space total amount 1 equals to blank page 120 let us do let us find out 
how rupees 66 can be paid in different ways. We have an image of a pie chart here. At the center, we can see rupees 66 written. The pie chart has seven sections. In the first one, we can see a rupee 20 note, a rupee 10 note, a coin of rupee 5, and a coin of rupee 10. In the first section, we have a specimen of rupee 50 note. The second note is of rupee 10, then we have a coin of rupee 5, and then a 1 rupee coin. In the second section, we have 3 specimen of rupees 20, a coin of rupees 5, and a coin of rupee 1. Moving on to the next section, we can see 5 coins. 3 coins are of rupee 20 denomination, 1 coin for rupee 5 denomination, and the last one is for rupee 1 denomination. In the fourth section, we have five specimen of rupees 10, a coin of rupees 10, and four coins of rupee 1. In the next section, we can see a specimen of rupee 20 note. Then we have a specimen of rupee 10 note. Besides these two notes, we have four coins. The first coin is for rupee 20, the second one is for rupee 10, the third one is for rupee 5, and the final one is for rupee 1. In the next section, we have a specimen of rupees 50, 3 coins of rupees 5, and 1 coin of rupee 1. And finally, in the last section, we can see 4 10 rupee notes, 1 20 rupee note, 1 5 rupee coin, and finally 1 1 rupee coin. Make different combinations to make the given amount. Here we have some rows and some columns. In the first column, on top is written amount. Then in the second column, on top it is written rupee 1. In the third column, on the top it is written rupees 2. In the fourth column, on the top it is written rupees 5. In the fifth column, on the top it is written rupees 10. In the sixth column, on the top it is written rupees 20. And in the seventh column, on the top, it is written rupees 50. Under the row of amount, the first section reads rupee 54. To arrive at rupee 54 amount, you have to add different denominations. In the first row, under rupee 1, the answer is blank. In the next row, under rupee 2, answer is 2. Moving on to the next row, rupee 5. Answer is blank. You have to fill this. Next row, rupees 10. Under that, 3 is the answer. If you move to the next row, the denomination is rupee 20. Answer is 1. And finally, rupee 50. The answer is blank. Find the correct answer. Now, we have 3 blank rows given for you. You have to make different combinations to arrive at rupees 54. Another amount is rupees 85. We have five blank rows for you and you have to make a combination of different currency value to arrive at rupees 85. Page 121 Let us buy. Now, we have an image here. We have different images with their price tags attached. The first one is a ball with a price tag of rupees 20. The next one is a balloon with a price tag of rupees 10. The next one is a notebook with a price tag of rupees 15. Next one is a cup of curd with a price tag of rupees 28. Then in the second row, we have a pencil with a price tag of rupees 3. Then we have an image of a packet of biscuits with a price tag of rupees 5. Next is a water bottle with a price tag of rupees 55. Then we have crayons colors a pack of them with a price tag of rupees 20. Now, moving on to the next row, the third row. We can see a bag of oranges with a price tag of rupees 30. Then we have a ball pen with a price tag of rupees 10. Next, we have a cup of coffee with a price tag of rupees 10. Then we have a packet of milk with a price tag of rupees 32. And next, a toy car with a price tag of rupees 15. Now we have an image of a table here 
with four columns and four rows. In the first column, on the top is written items. In the second column, on the top is written money needed to buy these items. In the third column, on the top is written money you have. And in the fourth column, on the top it is written money left or more money needed. Under the items section, in the first row, we have two items. One, a notebook with a price tag of rupees 15, then a cup of curd with a price tag of rupees 28. Money needed to buy these items, rupee blank. Money you have, a 10 rupee coin and a 20 rupee note. Money left or more money needed, rupee blank. Next, we have two images. A bag of oranges with a price tag of rupees 30 and a cup with a price tag of rupees 10 and a cup of coffee with a price tag of rupees 10. Money needed to buy these items? Blank. Money you have? A 50 rupee note and a 5 rupee coin. Money left or more money needed? Blank. Next we have three images. The first one is of crayon colors packet. Price tag is rupees 20. Second we have a ball with a price tag of rupees 20. And finally we have a bottle with a price tag of rupees 55. Money needed to buy these items? Rupee blank. Money you have? Rupee 20 note and two 10 rupee coins. Money left or more money needed? Rupee blank. Page 122. Let us do. Rupees 18 plus rupees 32 is equal to blank. Rupees 15 plus rupees 27 is equal to blank. Rupees 47 plus rupees 50 is equal to blank. Rupees 22 plus rupees 35 is equal to blank. Now, we have an image of a boy thinking, have you seen that sometimes we pay using mobile phones? A. Jayan spent rupees 25 on pens and rupees 40 on notebooks. How much money did he spend in total? Blank. B. Meera has rupees 43 with her. Kanika has rupees 14 more than Meera. How much money does Kanika have? Blank. C. A packet of bread cost rupees 30 and a chocolate cost rupees 60. How much money does Vivek need to buy these items? Blank. D. Ajay has rupees 58 with him. He spent rupees 48 in the market. How much money is left with him now? Blank. Project work. Whenever you go to the market or shop with your parents, make a list of the things that you buy and the total money you spend. Create more such contexts and ask questions whether children will add or subtract. Inculcate the value of saving money in the children through our discussion. You were just listening to this audiobook, Joyful. Narrators, Harpreet Kaur and Neera Jyadav. Technical coordination, Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist, Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in production, Soumya Malik. Produced and directed by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook was brought to you by CIETNCERT, New Delhi, India.